गुड इवनिंग दिस इज कुमार राजीव एसटीएनसी ऑफ ग्रेजुएट विद्यालय वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन दिस सहोदिया कॉम्प्लेक्स इन हाउस ट्रेनिंग माई हार्टियस्ट वेलकम गोज टू द कोडरमा स्कूल सहोदिया कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रेसिडेंट मिस्टर ओ पी यादव सर ट्रेनिंग कॉर्डिनेटर मिस्टर सलेन्द्र कुमार सर एंड ऑल द स्कूल हेड्स एज द टूडेज टॉपिक इज डिजिटल लर्निंग एंड मैनेजमेंट एट दिस करेंट सीनेरियो ड्यू टू द कोविड एंड एज पर द डिमांड ऑफ द सिचुएशन करेंट सिचुएशन वी हैव चेंड अवर मैथडोलॉजी टू इंट्रैक्ट विद स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज द पीपल इट्स द एज ऑफ डिजिटल एरा वेर ऑल द टीचर टीचिंग फर्टर्निटी हैव टू कोप अप विद सिचुएशन to learn and teach with different new digital tools digital learning enable the students to learn in a different way whether it is face to face or distance learning now i hope ms neha as a resource person will share the huge age of new technology to make our work easier through her knowledge and experience thank you uh, now i uh, request uh, uh, mr op yadav sir uh, to give the permission to go through the content whatever uh, is there with ms neha so she can uh, start uh, with her content so op yadav sir uh, with your permission should she uh, start so so challenge sir challenge sir challenge sir uh okay uh, now i request uh, ms neha ma'am to start uh, her presentation and uh, give the presentation uh, today ms neha as a resource person thank you thank you rajiv sir so very good evening to everyone present over here i hope you all are fine and enjoying your day so i really want to thank first the president of kodama sohodaya school op yadav sir and coordinator mr sarinder sir for giving me such a great opportunity and i really want you all to enjoy these sessions and i hope these sessions will be fruitful for you all so without taking much time i would like you to take to the some of the content which i am having and by this content i hope you will get something new so i hope you get a very great explanations from mr rajesh sir that how this digital learning is important in our day to day life now we have shifted from our traditional way of classroom teachings to a online and technical way of teaching now next i will not take much time on that but i will like to share about this technique which is divided into two different part one is your asynchronous type and one is your synchronous type so when you are doing online teach uh, giving training and online program at the time when you are connecting with the students you will see that synchronous type of communications we are doing yes or no where you will see that the real time communications we are doing the students directly they can immediate response and you can give the answer it is not flexible like now the training is going on it is not flexible at all and but the plus point is the live training next if you say about the asynchronous type 
In the asynchronous, you already used to use so many different videos when you go and search in the YouTube's channel. This is real time, not, not the real time. Here you will see that different times, different place, you can click on any of the videos, you can see that. There, but the plus point of this is it is flexible one. And in this no live training, so I hope when you are doing any types of uh, whether online training, you are doing any conducting online training programs or whenever you are learning something. So both the different types of techniques, you are dealing with that. I hope there are some different examples you already know about it. So in the school, I really want to know from your from the comment sessions that in which type of online way you are giving the students the trainings or the educations, whether it is synchronous or asynchronous. I think both is required because synchronous, they can connect directly and they can get the information. And in asynchronous, further they can refer to the content. So I don't think that uh, this is new to max, most, more, most of the teachers because you can see that some tools are there in the online classes. Here, Zoom, uh, Cisco, WebEx, whatever the tools we say that, these tools we use to connect with the different students on conducting different types of online classes. Now, the next, uh, to, uh, if we discuss about the traditional demand, then flip classroom is the latest demand. Traditional classroom, I hope we already have experience about the traditional classroom in which we used to go to school and the teacher, they used to come with the content and they used to deliver the lessons. And this is all, the thing is, you can say that a one-way communication and where we used to gain the knowledge from the teachers, get the assignments and the homeworks. And after getting that, we have to go to the to home and then you have to complete that homeworks. And then again, you have to submit that. So this is the traditional way of the classroom programming. But now I think there is a requirement of the changes. Now there is a requirement that the students, they already know and aware about what the teacher is going to say. What is the content they are going to share? Whether they know that content or whether they have to know more about that content. So if there is a two-way communication, the teacher also feel more attract, uh, means you can say that they feel that the session is more good. And that is the students are understanding that session. So this flip classroom is the plus point. Now, if we shifted from the traditional classroom to the flip classroom. Now we talk about the blended learning. You all know that we are living in a technical world where the blended learning is now a latest demand. Now, teaching in the traditional classroom method is not a bad option. We are doing that. We are already knowing that we this, this thing is very fruitful. But to make it more enhance it, the blended learning is a best option. In the blended, what is blended learning then? Blended learning means using of the different tools during the traditional classroom, which help the different type of uh, students to know and to understand the concept much better. I hope you can see this picture. This picture can relate us to the future, which we can imagine now, that how the class will be there in the futures, where there is no boundaries, where the different peoples, they can connect from the different areas and they can gain knowledge. Now, why digital learning? Why we are talking about digital and why we are randomly telling this word? So if we say that there is four out of five one service was taken by the macro hill education, it was seen that 84% of them, they thought that improved their education when we select the digital type of learning method. Next is save maximum time, 81% they accept that. And it boosted great. It was also been accepted by 81% of the students. So this is the survey which was conducted and by the by that survey, we can assure that this digital learning can help the students to gain the knowledge and to know more. So now I think that uh, whatever we have discussed now and whatever the thing I have told you, you can relate yourself that how it is it's more important. Now I want to play one videos. I hope this video can help you to know more about it.
So I hope uh, this video has uh, made an, uh, ideas and give you that how this tech, digital learning is fruitful for enhancing the knowledge and boundaryless knowledge for different types of child. Next, I'm going to tell you about the different types of tools which help you to know that how you can make your 
uh, learning online learning tools this online learning tools how they can make uh, the effective class and interactive classes for that i will just let you to go to the google now and here i will simply go to this google app now which app i'm talking about this app is nothing it's just a simple name known as jamboard what is jamboard jamboard it is an interactive whiteboard which was developed by google and it is also known as a jisoo these tools you can use to present uh, different types of thing the content and in this the diff the plus point of this tool is that you can also connect different person different students to connect and live and they can also explain the different topic for that you have to just simple go to your google and here just you can see the google app is there you have to just scroll it slide and after scrolling that you can see the jamboard over here just click on this jamboard now this is the jamboard you can see over here and after this jamboard here you will get this type of interface and after this you will get this plus over here just you have to click on plus After clicking on the plus, you can see that this type of interface you get and this Jamboard you can use when you are giving different type of informations, giving educations to the child. Here you will get a frame where you can add as much as frame you want. For example, if you want to divide the students that some students can do work on that frame, then you can just add like this. So you can see that now I have added more one frame and again I have added the th three third frame so this way the first second third you can make a frame and you can allot a task to the student now next you have also a set background options where you can just set different types of backgrounds here you can see that like blue line like dots are there and blue graphs so this way you can get different types of background you can change it and you can make it uh, as per your choice, whatever the things you are delivering to the students. Here also you get a options of pen, where you can just use different types of pen, marker, whatever by which you are you want to write, want to explain something. So you can use, there are different highlighters are there, brush are there, you can use any one. And the different color options also you get. For example, if I select this pen and I select this red color. Now, whatever I want to write, I can just write and this way the students can see it there is a marker options also if you want to mark something or you want to use this marker for writing so this way you can use different type of pen options brush options are there which is given in this tool next after writing after uh, doing all the solutions and I have everything after then you also get a clear frame option just click and you can see that whatever you have written it was been cleared Next, you get a sticky note options. I think this sticky note options is a very good feature. So you can say that because sometimes it happened that we forgot that when we are delivering something, when we are uh, uh, conducting the classes at that time, okay, this topic we have skipped. So you can make or create a sticky note for that. And you can just add that over here. Like for example, I'm explaining some English related topic. So just, I will write English over here. And then just you have to click on save option so you can see that one sticky note has been created of that topic you can also change the color here you will get a different color options by which you can change it to the different color which color you like and for example i want to say about hindi then i will just click on save if you don't like color or you want to make it simple just click on this one no color options so by this and then simple you can write here and say so this is the sticky note which help you to create a different type of uh, sticky notes over here and you can just uh, get the reminding that, okay this is the topic i have to discuss with the student next options which i really like is the add of the images for example you are a science uh, teacher you are delivering some of the informations regarding science or so at the time what you can do you can immediately upload that uh, photos if you are having in your file or in your systems or simple you can go to google engine image search options in this just you have to 
click whatever the different informations for example you are delivering some related to hurt just click on this hurt okay and then just simple click you have to just whatever you are explaining just write that uh, and then just simple here you will get an insert option just click on insert so this way you can see that that image will be inserted in the jam board and you can minimize it you can do a uh, make your content ready before the you are doing some online classes like this i have just added this and similarly i want to also deliver related to lungs so simple right lungs over here And from here, you can select the simple click and select it and click insert. So this way we have inserted the different images and you can minimize this image. For example, if you are not uh, uh, delivering on this topic, then you can minimize it. Or then if you are delivering this, then you can maximize it. So this way you can minimize and maximize the topic. Here also you get a feature where you can add different type of circle, square, uh, different different types of if you want and also you also get a text box option in this text box just if you want to add or write something you can write over here after this next you get the plus point of the is the laser see whenever we add some picture the the pictures when we are adding these pictures you can see that I'm explaining this picture, but sometimes the students cannot relate themselves with the pictures because we can we are only presenting the pictures and I'm saying about the pictures, I'm explaining that thing. But at the time, the students, they get confused that ma'am, which part you are explaining or which thing we have to understand. So at the time, the laser option is there. You can enable this laser options and by this laser options, you can highlight the topic, which topic you are explaining like this. And you can also explain the process that how each and every process has been taking place like this. So the students can understand, okay, this is the things and they can relate by each and everything which you are explaining to the student. So I hope uh, this jam port tools, uh, it's really help you when you use it. So one plus point of this tool is that now I have explained about this tool. So after explaining or after delivering whatever the information to the students, you can also share your screen with the students. So the plus point of this Jamboard is that not only you can explain or you can only use this, you can also share this Jamboard, these tools with the different type of uh, students who are sitting in different locations and they can also come over here and whatever the tasks if you have given they can perform it and they can show you for that you just have to click on the share option in the share options you have to change from this one restricted to anyone with this link and after this you have to click on this viewer to edit and now you are allowing the other persons to do the ed editing and all that on this tool so that you have to do and then just you have to copy the link and we are done And now after copying the link, what you can do, you can share this link to the different uh, students whenever you are conducting the online classes. And after then they can add to that link. And after adding to that link, they can immediately connect it by you. And after then, whatever the changes you are doing over here, they can relate it.
So now I have shared that link with you all. If you are using systems uh, the, and if you are using mobile, then also you can click on that link and by that link, you will be added over here. And after adding, you can practice whatever I have uh, tell you about this, uh, the different tools and different features. And these tools, I will surely say that will also make the, in the class the technical class more interesting because the students will now feel that now they are connected and now if you want them to explain the topic they can explain it so i really want uh, you all to click on that link and join and you can just click on any of the things and you can practice that whatever i have taught you and if you are connected then please you can also uh, use this sticky note and you can write your name on the sticky note so that i can aware that okay this person is using that Okay, so so many person have added. So I really want you all to use it and just use different type of tools. Now you can use this. And uh, if you are using from mobile, you have to download that from the Play Store, the Jamboard. If you're using from the system, you can immediately connect and you can use this. So this is the plus point and uh, this is the, you can say that the plus point we are getting when we are using this tool. You now you can share this tool, the different per person that can add on these tools and there is a very good group wise connections and they can just uh, whatever they explain. If you want one student, just you, and come and connect and you explain this herd and the student can explain to the all the entire class. So I hope this tool is uh, really fruitful for you all and you like this tool. Yes, so you can see that I'm not doing anything and this all is done by the persons who are connected over here. So this way the different person they can connect, hello, Okay, it is Satya Prakash. Uh, hello, sir. So this way they have, they, you can connect different person, they will connect and they can use this tool. And this way, this make the class more interesting. And after then what you can do, you can also click on the share link and you can make it restrict if you don't want to share it again. So thank you for joining and uh, I hope these tools really help you a lot. After then, uh, what you will do if you want this again, do you want to stop the sharing? Then just simple, you have to click on this and you have to click on change. And after clicking on this change from this, anyone, you have to simple click on restricted. And then again, it will be restricted and you have to just click on done. So I hope this tool, uh, you will use it and it is uh, this by this tools the students also feel in, uh, interactive with the different classes next tool which i am uh, going to tell is about the google talk i don't think that it needs uh, so much introductions because everybody know about the google talk so i will not take much time on this tool i will only want to uh, share my, one of the things about these tools which i really like is the related to your typings because we all know that being a teacher our one our is not only a particular duty we have to also provide the educations and then we have to create a question paper so So let's we go to the next, which is a Google Doc. So this is the Google Doc, uh, which is absolutely free, where you can go and create different types of, same as your MS Word, which you are using. But you know, what is the difference between the uh, normal MS Word, which we are using to this Google Doc? It's give you an online platform where you can create, edit, and store whatever you have created. Here, if we see, 
so here are what the really thing which i want to tell you i know you already most of you have the knowledge and most of you already aware about these tools and technology but the things which i really think that which helpful for most of the teacher is voice typing technique here you can see that one voice typing is there you just have to go to the tool and you have to click on this voice typing and just you have to enable this like this now you can see that whatever i am saying it will be uh, written over here and i don't have to use you know that much uh, i have to type and i don't have to be you know have good in typing speed so this way you have to just say whatever you want to say and it will immediately be written over there so i think this is the things which is a plus point of google doc because being a teachers we always have to make different types of question paper so this really make our you know more easy and convenient and here what you can do you can create the questions you can also what you can do you can just copy that whatever if you have created and you can paste in the different uh, ms word or open office whatever the tools you are using next what you can do you uh, here you also get a uh, different type of languages where you can not only it is a boundary that you can only create a english paper there is a many time it is a a uh, problem that we have to create a papers on different types of language so here you will get a different type of language whatever the language in which you want to create the paper you can create it so here uh, the problems which uh, basically happen is that for the hindi teacher i really want to say that for creating hindi paper it sometimes uh, you know complicated so for them what you can do you can just change from english to hindi so here you can get the different options where just hindi you can see that now it was been added then i will just enter here and then just i will just make it enable ab aap dekh sakte hain ki hum jo bhi aapko hindi mein baat kahenge ya aap jo bhi bolenge wo cheez aap dekh sakte hain hindi mein likhte ja rahe hain to aap हिंदी में पेपर बना रहे हैं या इंग्लिश में पेपर बना रहे हैं उसके लिए आपको कभी प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी सिंपल आप क्या कर सकते हैं गूगल डॉक के द्वारा दिया गया वॉइस टॉप टाइपिंग का आप इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सो दिस वे यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द ग्रेट फीचर्स व्हिच रियली मेक यू यू इजिली यू कैन मेक द क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सो आई विल जस्ट वट आई कैन डू आई कैन जस्ट शेयर दिस विथ यू ऑल सो दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन ओवर हेयर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो use this voice typing technique and wait for that i just have to change it from the viewer to the editor and i will just copy this link and i will go to the chat and i want you all to join in this so this is the way you can uh, use this google doc Uh, and it is absolutely free web based applications you can use it and basically maximum time for you know periodic tests is there term 1 term 2 so many papers you have to make and the, especially the hindi teachers they have to make the papers for that the tools you have to simple go to the tools and the tools you will get a voice typing and from that voice typing 
you can enable whatever the language in which you are making the papers english just you can click on english and just enable it from your side and you just uh, yes i will just go to the tools and i will just click on this voice typing and i want you one by one to uh, click on it and enable from your side and you can just uh, do the practice and the write whatever you want to write and it's my request uh, whoever writing or whoever uh, using this speak uh, voice typing they just add their name Okay, Pradesh, uh, Pradeep Kumar sir is telling it seems very easy. Yes, sure, uh, uh, sure, sure. If only if you practice and you can do that. And I really request uh, from your side, anyone, you can click on this uh, voice typing, enable that, click it and just use your uh, speech by, by your voice. You can just type. Okay, just enable it. Anyone, you can just click on it, enable it and you can use it. No, so actually uh, you can say that uh, the different Hindi or typing for that I am telling you the tool is best and you can write if you are convenient with the MS Word, you can directly copy all the entire information and you can paste in the MS Word also, no issue of that. So this uh, voice typing, I think this technique uh, really help you a lot. And uh, in further, if you are creating the papers, you can use this. Next, I will stop this then. Simple, you have to remember that whenever you are uh, sharing this, then if you want, don't want to share this, restrict it and you can just click on done. After Google Doc, next uh, tools, you can see this, it is a auto draw options. Auto draw, I can say that you will say that MS Paint, you can relate it from the MS Paint, but the plus point of this auto draw is that when you are using this auto draw options, it contained the plus point is the artificial intelligence. Yes, this artificial intelligence uh, is the plus point, which made this tool different from the MS Word, which you, we are using for drawing different tools. How for that, we will just go to the Google. And here you can see this another tool, which is your auto draw. I will not go in a deep here, just uh, I will tell you that how uh, these tools you can use and the plus point of the some special features of these tools, which you can use for your different, different type of work. So here, for example, you want to draw something and uh, uh, many of us is not good at drawing. Uh, so for that, what you can use here, the auto draw option is there. You can click on this auto draw options. And after clicking on this auto draw, for example, I want to just draw a tree. You can see that the tree is very bad, but uh, no issue uh, if the tree is not good at all, because you can see that I already told you these tools contain one of the plus point is the artificial intelligence. And by whatever you are drawing by that, it will match the content and they will just give you the image which relate whatever you are drawing. So you can see that when I'm making, a, when I'm drawing a tree, so at the time, the different tree is being, you can see, just click over here like this. So here now, I think if I don't know the drawing to draw anything, then also we get the different types of tree. You can also draw, for example, house like this. So this tools, basically it is a, a, a fun tools for the students who are in a junior classes. They can uh, feel interactive. They can enjoy you know, doing different types of drawing and coloring over here. So you can see that when I created this, this uh, don't look good at all. So here, what you can do, you can just click on this. 
different type of and from here you get the different type of house so i hope this auto draw options you can use and these tools will make your uh, classes more interactive when you are explaining or when you are drawing something and want other also to understand what uh, the teacher has drawn so this give a perfection on your different types of images which you are drawing now next uh, we will talk about the next uh, tool which is your mentimeter so uh, when we say that about the mentimeter the plus point of this mentimeter is that when we are uh, uh, going to the class and when we say that today we will take your exam and today i will ask you some questions at the time students were like oh god we have to give the answer i already forgot by the when the teachers used to say that now you have to give the exam so the mentimeter it is a tool which in which you can use for a fun uh, mcqs where you can create the mcq types of questions where you can add the students and they can just enjoy that sessions and enjoy that quiz and by learn with fun we can say that they can do that so for that simple you have to click on the google and you have to go to this mentimeter.com in the mentimeter.com you will get a my presentation over here just click on this my presentation after clicking on this my presentations here you will get a new presentation you just have to click on this new presentation and i will just give a name to this presentations like and i will just create it So after creating these presentations, you can see that the different types of options over here, yes or no. So here you can create a different types of quiz, multiple choice questions, word cloud, open and sessions. So whatever you want to create for that, just click on this. For example, I want to create a questions regarding word cloud. Here you have to click and I will just write some questions like, what is your favorite snacks? For example, you want uh, the sessions to be we start with the, you know, the students as the they are calm. So at that time, you just write some questions, and here you can just increase or decrease the number of answer which they can say. So here I have uh, you can write the questions, and here you just write how much uh, answer they can give to you, and then simple after creating that, you have to just share this. You have to just copy the link and that link I will share in the chat. And here, just I will now click on present. So this way you can see that now I have presented the question in front of you. So I hope that you will click on that link. And after clicking on that link, you can give me the answer whatever the questions I have asked you, same way what you can do, you can go to the Mentimeter, you can create the world cloud uh, questions where you can give the questions and you also have the options to give the number of answer, how much answers they can give. And you can share the link with the different persons and after sharing that link, they will connect with that link and after connecting that they can write the answer and whatever the answer the different students they are giving you, they can it can be shown here. It will be displayed in the screen. So you can click on it and you can give the answer. Okay, so somebody has given paneer pakoda. Okay. Okay, nimki biscuit. Very good. So these are the snacks. Okay, so these are the favorite snacks. So whatever the snacks, you can see that the different persons, uh, you can just share the questions and they can click on it and they can share their thought. And that thought, you can say that it was present in front of me. And the other person can also see that and they will enjoy this type of sessions, this type of, you know, 
now after then they, they will not fear about knowing that okay we have to give exam because this way if you conduct the exam they will also enjoy the sessions they will be interested they will want to know more they want to again they will say that ma'am when the exam will be there so i hope this sessions uh, will make you aware about the plus point and the advantage of using this tool okay so we get the so many answer over here So you can see that this is known as world cloud. How whatever the answer the student, uh, the different peoples will give you, everything will be displayed, and you can also see that. Okay, so so many things are there. So, so I hope this uh, really help you and give you an idea that how you can use this tool, and the students also enjoy by using this. Now, after this, were the tools which we have used, you can also use that there are different type of tools over here, like MCQ types of questions, if you want to make. So this is the first uh, which I have created for that. Just I will add one more slide. And in this slide, I can create a multiple choice of questions where you can ask the students different type of multiple choice questions like which tools you like the most. So here just I will give, for example, uh, so many tools you got aware of, yes or no. So which tools you all like, simple, for example, auto draw. Mentimeter. So this way simple, uh, it will give you interface where you can add the questions and create it in uh, mcq types and now i will just present this question And I will just present it. So now, by, uh, now I have presented. So you can give me the answer that which tools you like the most. Uh, so this way, you can also ask the questions to the students by creating the MCQ types of questions. And after uh, creating that MCQ types of questions, okay. So uh, I'm getting the answer. So this way, you can select the different types of tools which you are thinking that it is more good for you same way you can create different questions to the students and you can ask them about it that you like these tools or you like that informations or whatever related to the subject also you can create the questions and when the students will join and they will feel more interesting and they will want to give the exam and this way you are you can also get that how many uh, how many people they are giving or replying and how which uh, is correct who is giving the correct answer Okay. Okay, so maximum, uh, they really like auto draw and the Mentimeters one. So this way you can just uh, create the questions. It is quite easy and you can share it and the whoever connected over here, they feel interesting and they want to use that too. In this Pentimeters, you also get a different features which you can use is like quiz round. 
there are so many tools like mcq which i have already shown you here you also get the options that where you can create a quiz round where you can uh, give the prize to the students that okay so this is the uh, students who who have answered it first so this are i hope this mentimeters this tools really help you when you are using it and when you use with the different uh, students so they also feel interesting they will not get at that time that okay we have to give exam with this, such a fear they will be like oh we have to give the exam so they will love to give the exam after that now next we will proceed with the next tool which is a geogebra mm -hmm. uh, i hope there are so many math teacher who used to uh, take math classes so math it is a thing which uh, the students have to focus more so this tool, I think, especially I will recommend to the math teachers who are taking the different math classes. They can use this uh, link, uh, which is your www.geogebra.com and they have to just go there. So this is the GeoGebra. You can see that this is a tool which is full complete package where you can say that the students and the teacher they both can get different type of resources where they can use for calculation geometries and here you also get a videos like different videos related to the content so you can use this different types of tools and the different types of content, the videos, you can play the videos, which is specially focus on different type of mathematical calculations related to math. So I hope this tool is really helpful for the math teacher. Next, we will see the next talk is your Padlets. Padlet is basically, you can say that it is an online notice board. Whenever we want to discuss something in online platform. So I think Padlet is a the best options because you can share your padlet with uh, every team members and they can combine in this padlet and they can give their review on it so for the padlet we just have to go so this is the dashboard of my padlet here you just have to click on create padlet you have to just click like this and here you will get uh, so many options Here you will get a wall option stream, self options. And also, for example, if you're somebody is teaching or somebody is SST teacher, they can use this option map because we all know that uh, the map related questions are there. They, you can simply click on this. And immediately the Padlet was started and now we are here. And this way you can uh, question the students related to the maps and where, uh, what, uh, in which days, which, what happened, where happened. So this way you, the SST teachers can use this map and the, the, the students or whoever connected, they will feel interesting when they are answering this type of questions. Next, you also get a platform which is known as yourself where you can click on the self and this type of Padlet will be created where you can just add the different different column for example i want to know how many english teachers i have joined here so just i will just click on english teachers and any suggestion that english teachers want to give to me so this way i've just created for the english teacher uh, i'm taking a meetings in the meeting i want to know the suggestion from the english teacher and then i will just create a column for knowing the suggestion from the math teacher so this way i can create a columns and i will just uh, share this And then you just have to share this, okay? So this way you can share and whoever connected, they will feel that, uh, okay, whatever the suggestion they want, they can do that.
so i hope this padlet uh, you also get an idea that how you can create a padlet a online notice platform where uh, you can get the suggestion from the different person next uh, the topic is your augment reality where you can see that how this new generation they will understand and learn because this is a revolutionary technology by which the students they can understand each and everything by using a new high level method so these are the now i hope the tools which we i have explained you uh, in some areas they will help you a lot and at the last i really want to share some of the virtual tools which you can also go and search if you want you can write it down these are some of the tools which you which different chemistry teachers uh, science teachers who are taking different types of practical classes they can use it and these are the animations and simulations and these are the tools you can see that for example english teachers they want to uh, conduct some related to english uh, there are some tools for chemistry teachers there are some tools so you can see that and if you want you can write it and these are the tools related to primary level so i hope uh, whatever the things i have uh, delivered you it will help you in the futures and we also search related to that to get more about it and thank you everyone at the last i hope you enjoy the session then thank you everyone Thank you, Neha, ma'am. It's a wonderful presentation from uh, your side. Now I want uh, feedback uh, from the people um, who are involved in that. Uh, thank you, um, number of people who have responded very well, as I have seen. So uh, I request uh, Op uh, Opiyadav sir. So give the feedback, sir. If you are available. Thank you, Neha, ma'am. Sir, uh, this is the time to uh, express the feedback. So, feedback from all the resource, uh, all the persons who are involved in that. Thank you. Thank you, sir.